We know the global climate crisis is getting severe and noticeable across the world. Looking at the rising temperature and the climate impacts in the Middle East especially, which is home to some of the hottest climate in the world, and the region's high temperature in some of the countries have been reaching as high as 55 degrees Celsius, make the region particularly vulnerable to climate change impact and extreme weather events. To put in perspective, some of the countries in the region, including United Arab Emirates, Oman, Saudi Arabia recorded temperature as close as or higher than 50 degrees Celsius lately in 2021. As the climate change impacts are now being more visible, young people in the Middle East are waking up to the existential threats that the climate change poses and how the increasing temperature would affect their day-to-day -day life. But the actions by numerous youth and climate movement organizations in the Middle East region gives us hope to our policymakers and analysts that the grassroots initiative may galvanize how youth fight against climate change. However, the climate movement faces limitations in the region that is beset with numerous other issues. The region is facing crises like youth unemployment, conflict, so the daily survival becomes more important to many of the young people than the issues of climate change. But most importantly, they have been also been neglected by the Western media and also the local media at the same time. With the recent COP26, which took place in Glasgow, in Scotland, many of the young people from the Middle East were not able to be represented. And this gives us a space that young people from the region are not part of the global climate conversation. It is worth considering how the youth in the Middle East region have been always fared and expected to fare. While historically they have been excellent in campaigning and advocating and working for the grassroots organization, the current global climate conversation doesn't include the young people from the Arab region. It is not surprising that there aren't many climate protests or marches like that of Fridays for Future or Extinction Rebellion. That doesn't mean the youth climate movement doesn't exist in the Middle East region. While the protest on the street may not be our modus of operandi, education, awareness, policy raising have been activities young people have been actively involved in. Through this way, young people from the Arab region made sure their voices have been heard by their governments and also their communities. 10 years since COP18, which held here in Doha, young Arabs, activists, researchers, and entrepreneurs from the Arab region came together in helping and designing ideas and innovation from bottom-up solution to how to reduce the impact of climate change and also raising awareness in the community. Today, Arab youth are the first generation to come of an age amid rapid climate change, and they have the most at stake in how their society responds to it. Climate change will bring economic and environmental challenges at all the same time and opportunities. They've been working over the time to how to implement climate education and awareness and action in most of the Middle East countries, but it have never been on the headlines of global or regional media outlet. But the upcoming COP27 and COP28 summit in the Middle East, in Egypt in 2022 and in the UAE in 2023, gives us a hope that would give voices of many of the young people in the Arab region and the upfront. Moreover, this summit would also give a change of how the global north see the work of young people from the Arab region, which are part of the global south. The tendency of the media to present only the global youth from the global north is going to save the world is problematic, especially for the activists from the Middle East region, whose media invisibility leads not only being not recognized organization, but also not able to work or partner with international agencies. Young people in the global south, especially in the Middle East, been tackling climate change for years, and they couldn't be celebrated over the years because of the negligence from media and also some of the lo local stakeholders. So it becomes absolutely critical how they have to also be celebrated. While the young people in the Middle East continue to work towards a common goal of fighting climate change and advocating climate justice issues, the Western and regional media must also highlight their contribution, not with just one or two faces to highlight, but the whole movement of climate change.
change activism within the region. Thus, doing so, the future generation, when they talk about the youth climate movement in the Middle East, it will not be a single narrative. And it will be clear that the young people are fighting to gather for climate crisis doesn't exactly mean to fight on the streets, but also galvanizing their energy and activism towards local actions or grassroots programs. A collective and inclusive movement is thus an absolute necessity to show how the young people and the young climate leaders can work toward, together to form an unstoppable force. Equipped with necessary policy knowledge and awareness, that will help them put forward the pressing issues of climate change to their governments and respective communities. To put in things in perspective, representation and elevating voices of Arab young people is necessity because to protect the future of our planet, it is critical to have all the voices and all the faces come together, joining hands. We need a global climate movement which is inclusive and representative of every part of the world. Thus, the whole fight against climate change will be an inclusive and just one. So I hope our young people from the Arab region are given the necessity stage or platform to work and extend their voice against climate change at the global climate conversation. So the fight goes on and we are all collectively responsible for our actions. Let us fight together for a global world which is just and equitable and bring climate change impacts to all the communities who are facing it and help elevate the people out of poverty and also at the climate change at the same time. It is necessity how we as young people work together and collectively in fighting climate change.